to go now. Sweet. Yeah, good to see you guys. Hello, Fred. Hello, Alessio. Hello, Ramiro. Hello, Ike. Hello, Mateo. Hello, Floyd. Hi, Leo. I think I already said your name, but yeah. <laughs> Hope you guys have been doing well as well as you can be. Uh, I'm playing the uh, League Cup theme right now. last season, you might remember. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited, honestly. Let me go over some stats real quick. Let me turn it down. Alright, so up first we have Eshtehan and Dracois. Eshtehan last season struck out in the quarterfinals of, in the first round of the League Cup. Dragois as well. We, I will note that Eshtehan do have a title to their name. Dragois are currently trophyless. So whoever wins here, uh, I think has a real shot at, at going for glory and winning the whole thing. Uh, but in terms of prize money, I don't I don't remember off the top of my head. Sorry, man, <laughs> but it's a lot. It's quite a lot um, It's a good uh, It's a good way of like if you aren't doing that well in the league It's it allows you to like have a bit of respite I guess in the League Cup because if you if you mount a good League Cup you might end up with more prize money than other clubs combined because if you look at it in totality uh, a club, I guess, who's like did sort of well in the league, but struck out in the first round in in the League Cup. If they managed to win the League Cup, but they didn't do so well in the in the league, they sort of account for that that uh, balance, I guess. But all right, without further ado, there we go. You can see my mouse. Whoop de doop de doop. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, this is what I'll have to change. Oh god, the, the the heater's making all sorts of crazy noises now. Okay, let's see. Come away, no. Overtime, yes. Penalty kicks, yes. And then ball effect on as always. All of this will stay the same. However, overtime is obviously on, and then penalty kicks are on. I think because it's an exhibition match, those are randomly generated, though, so that's out of my hands. Um, everything else here looks good. Okay. I'll wait for this song to end. How long is this song? Oh. I have about a minute. How's it going for you, Saki? I'm doing pretty well. Thank you for asking, man. Um, just been... It's a bit of been a bit hectic i've been getting ready to uh, start the semester with my studies and i want to make sure that i do as well as i can um so it's been a bit tough balancing uh like preparing for that and then the league but i'm doing well so far so yeah thank you for asking all right the prediction has concluded wow it's pretty much even look at that yeah, it's pretty even, actually. The odds are pretty pretty much quite even. Eshan to uh, 1 to 2.03, and then Dragois had a 1 to 1.97. Alright. This could be a really defining match, I think. But yeah, as I've mentioned before, I hope you guys have been doing well, as always. 
Hope you guys' day has been going well. Hope you guys find yourselves well. And we're ready to look at some more football. Albeit, it is a cup match though, so we only have two today. So, short stream in a way. Quarterfinal, I will remind you that Eshtahan pulled out an unbelievable comeback in extra time. Uh, uh, being down 1 0 all the way until the 88th minute when uh, there was a last minute goal in standard time to send the match into extra time, and then Eshtahan scoring it in extra time to win the whole game. Dragoz, on the other hand, with a, I think it was an inspired performance by Ruben, uh, sort of allowed Dragoz to beat the Eagles and punch their ticket to the semifinals. And here is where we are today. Uh oh, it's fast. The reason it's always fast is because whenever I do tests, I always do it on double speed and it just stays there. So we're underway now. This could be a real nail nail biter, I think. Both teams, I think, have a good chance of making the finals, but we'll see what happens. We do have extra time and potentially penalty kicks to consider. The tackle. Oh, hold on, it's being kind of slow. There we go. Yo, hello. Hey, mate, hope you've been doing well. Good to see you around. Eshtahan with a throw in, Dong. I don't know why I said his name like that. Margaric is playing very deep. Eshdan have been controlling for the first five minutes or so. Shalic, oh, this is good. He's got some room. He's fallen down. The ref doesn't think that's a foul. It's sent in again though, Adams. Good clearance. Ferdinand now. Ferdinand has replaced Ruben in the starting lineup. Probing ball to try and see Ramiro. I'm hoping for a good performance again from Alex Anderson once again. He performed very well yesterday, earning man of the match. Virginia Emmett tries to strike. It's off target though. They have managed to uh, get an opportunity. Hello, Trent. Hope you've been doing well as well. I entered for two ticket giveaway to my favorite team versus LAFC. Nice. I hope that goes through. Uh, which which is your favorite team? Oh, that's a good ball, Ramirez. Ramirez might send a cross. He's still with the ball. This could be good. Took a deflection, I think. It did. It's a corner. Cassandro now. And Kabiri. It's in Kabiri's safe hands. Uh, but yeah, actually, one of my dad's friends won some tickets to see a friendly. Uh, it was Real Madrid then uh, I think it was uh, LA Galaxy it was just a friendly match but it was a lot of fun I had a lot of fun there was I, I, Ronaldo was there um, a couple of the Galaxy players were there it was a lot of fun I also turned up one to see my hometown club play against uh Portland Timbers, 
in a, another friendly match, and that was a lot of fun too. Uh, I got to see a, a Uruguayan player up close. I forget his name, but I think he played for either Portland Timbers or Seattle Sounders. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. But yeah, I hope it goes through. It's really an, an experience to... Uh, uh, really a sweet experience, especially when you're rooting for a club you support. It's a lot of fun. Lodeiro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it was Nicolas Lodeiro, something like that. Yeah, if I'm remembering correctly, that's that's who he was. Yeah. That yeah, was really interesting because also the refs went to go use the same bathroom we did, so we went to go see saw the refs. Oh, this is good for Powell. Oh, my. That could have easily ended up in the back of the net. Dragoys were having a bit of trouble there stopping Powell. Lucky for them. No danger. Yeah, I'm afraid of, of, of uh, saying too many sidetracked things because I might lose the action like I did yesterday. But yeah, Nicolas Lodeiro. Seattle Sounders. Oh, I was mistaken. Seattle, Seattle Sounders where he plays, not the Timbers. I knew it was I knew it was a Pacific Northwest club though. I know the Timbers and the Sounders have a huge rivalry, so forgive any Timbers fans. That's a good ball to Margilic. We'll see what the star rookie can do. Oh, it's taken away by Ramirez. The most important match I saw was Juventus versus Barcelona in the UCL women's group stage. Awesome man. I remember seeing a while ago that the Barcelona's women's team in the Champions League drew out like a huge, a huge crowd, so that's always good to see. I hope you had a lot of fun there. Blackwood. Alex Anderson. Oh, Kabidi was forced to punch it away there. This could be a good chance for Dragois. Cassandra with the corner. Rance collected by Kabidi. There's a huge rivalry between Vancouver, Portland, and Seattle. Yeah, I imagine. Um, my One of my old professors actually was a big Portland Timbers fan. And he had like, he had a scarf of the Timbers and he had a, 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 a uniform that he would wear to classes sometimes. It was really cool. But I don't really follow any particular MLS club. Like, I'm not a diehard fan of any club. He's offsides. Oh, just a half of a... Half of a leg offsides, I think. That could have been really good. I'm sure Brad... Or, Brad wait. <laughs> That's not Brad wait. I saw the ponytail and my mind immediately went to Bradway. No, it's Trutzi. How could I do that to Trutzi? That's terrible on my part. My apologies. Die Hard Houston fan. Nice. Ford Lawton's fighting for that one. Looked like he might win this one. Oh, this could be good. Floyd Lawton. A strike. Ooh. Brilliant work from Floyd Lawton again to pressure the Eshdahan defense. He's truly an unstoppable figure. Unfortunately, this one went wide. Eshdahan skip out on dan danger once again. I'm following Toronto because we've been seeing you in Vermont. This nice. I know, I think they won the cup some two years ago. Either the cup, like the, the shield or whatever it's called, <laughs> and then the, or the league. You can tell I obviously follow the AMLS a lot. I don't know, like, in my case, I, I don't, like, particularly follow, like, leagues for that reason. I'm, like, more interested in, like, the administrative part of it. Like, I'm interested in, like, history of football, like, how the leagues are structured, how like club how like clubs and how well they do can have potential effects on like the towns that they're from so 
apologies if I make any knowledge mistakes, I guess. last in the west but if I win the giveaway I'm going to watch the best team in the league which has Bale, Vela and Killeen. That'll be fun I think. Oh good one two there. Ayodele surely he's lost a man. Saved once again. Thurucin coming up big. This is the keeper that the team need at the moment and he's so far delivering. Delhi, this is a deadly combo, we know that. Through the way. But yeah, I don't know if you've, you've uh, seen like your favorite club play yet, but if you haven't, I'd definitely save up someday and, and go and watch them. It's, it's a lot of fun, especially when everybody else supports the same club. It's really nice. I actually did a bit of a analysis on that in one of my classes from last semester where I looked at like football clubs and how supporters can come together uh, for other causes and how that's a form of like community building as well. Like again that ties to what I talked about before with like how having clubs in like small villages can really help the villages in terms of like local businesses as well. That's why it's such a big deal when big clubs come to visit the small clubs or something but yeah Powell takes it away surely he's through now again oh it's oh, what's going on oh my goodness that could have been very deadly it did not go in though we'll see what the end result is Trujin is on that once again and saved it wow very close call Trucin is a polished god. Very true. I think it might be his hair, if I'm honest. Is it true that Ronaldo could go to Napoli? I have no idea, man. <laughs> I have no idea. I heard about that at some point, but I, I, I don't know. That's a, that's a really interesting situation, actually. But yeah, we're... We've entered stop time now. The referee will surely call an end to the first half. Very soon. Just at the ground there. A foul given to Eshtahan. So far, the Dragoy's defense has been somewhat sturdy. They have let in a few mistakes, though. Floyd Lawson has been causing problems again for Eshtahan. So yeah, still anybody's game. Anybody can take this home and, and win the match. But so far, it's all square, nil-nil. That was the first chance of the match, I believe. Yeah, good match for now. Yeah, I do believe so. We'll see how the second match, or the second match, the second half uh, goes on. There's Floyd Lawton's chance. I, I was thinking he might have pulled another insane dribbling move, but it was not meant to be. Oh, it's just repeating. I wish we got a few more saves from Trudzin. But we're off to the second half. This could be the make or break. If not, we have extra time to look forward to. And of course, lovely penalties. We all love penalties. do not love penalties yeah I was, I was being sarcastic they go by so quickly I don't have time to say anything I wish there was a way to slow them down 
Ashton defense being pressured by Dragois. Ferdinand. This could be good. Ferdinand. He's still going. He'll need some help in the box. Nobody could find it, unfortunately. That was a decent effort from uh, Ferdinand. I hope his meeting went well. That was like last week now. <laughs> Markilic. Oh, strike. From distance. Saved by Trucci. Might find Mateo again. It's another easy ball for Trucin. Trucin has has been called into action once or twice, I think. The rest have been rather routine saves. I think the ref might have called advantage. Oh, it's a good ball. A good interception. I just have to be careful here. Lawton takes it back. Ferdinand. Ferdinand bursts through. He has a strike. Another good save from Kabiri. I don't know what's happening anymore. Ferdinand. Ferdinand. Nobody's there. Ramirez. Ramirez, he has a pocket of space. Soboslai. Soboslai. Cut it away. Wow, that was a very good piece of uh, effort there from Dragois. I really love the way Dragois has, has come from... Uh, has, they've come a long way compared to last season. So I'm really happy that they're making a name for themselves now. This could be good. Ramirez again. This time challenged by Rodri. Mateo's fighting for that one. Some subs, we'll see who's coming off. Ayodele's coming off. Alex Anderson's coming off for Frank Castle. Really interested to see how Frank Castle actually does. This is a pretty big game. Hopefully he does a good job. On the other hand, Eshdehan has subbed on Sadeki for Ayodeli. So if this match does go to penalty kicks, it'll be interesting to see how how uh, they do without Ayodeli. But here's Blackwood. Some more subs. This time it's Chris Powell. Alabama Emmett comes on. Neither Ayodele or Powell could score here. Tyler Adams taking a bit longer to get up. It seems okay. 62 minutes now. Ferdinand. Ferdinand again. Ferdinand, still Ferdinand. Challenged by Adams. It's... Out of play, though. Dragoyes could really sneak a goal here. I can see it happening. Lawton. He finds Ramiro. Headed away. Ramirez. Collected by Kabiri. So far, it's been Dragoyes, really. The second half. Ashton can just not capitalize on the first half momentum. Lawton and Ferdinand are off. Who else came on there? Doi, I think, came on. And then Margilic is off for Mohammadi. So this will be interesting to see how this match plays out. A few of the key players have 
made way to the bench. Adams. Was pressured by Fernandes. It is a free kick. Rodri. A header from Sadegi is well wide. This is the first time I've seen Mohammadi actually. Very interesting. Alabama Emmett. Whips the ball in. A header from Virginia Emmett, I think, goes well wide. Why did I get sub? Weird. I think since it does account for extra time now, I think it might factor the choices a bit differently because now it's more, even more so about endurance. But that's just my guess. Doi is no stranger to late mi last minute heroics though. Here he is. Blackwood. Blackwood whips the ball and this looks good. Oh my goodness, I thought that was going in. Surely that one was going in. But somehow it ended up in Kabidi's hands. Alabama Emmett. Virginia Emmett, this could be good, Sadegi steals it back, he, oh my goodness, I thought that was going in, I genuinely thought that one was going in, but unfortunately he's just put it past the post, wow, he really should have done better there, Sadegi, I always get lucky there, I believe, If that was like Ayodeli or Markilic or Powell, that would have definitely been 1-0 now. Sadegi. Oh, bam, Emmett wins it back. Sadegi! Oh my goodness, what a save. Mohamadi cleared away. Spectacular save by uh, Trudzin there, but acrobatic move by Sadegi. Really good reaction time from Trucin. Very good. Trucin has been so good. Won it back. Doi wins it back. A bit of a trip there by Best. I believed it was a foul and it is. Cassandro. It's always going to be hard to win those battles. Ramirez has been proving very crucial in these last few minutes here. Ramirez. Intercepted. I need to know why we all got subbed off so early, man. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think it has to do again with what I mentioned before, like endurance. Because this match might last longer. I'm not sure. My guess is as good as yours. I wish there was more control over those sort of deals, but it unfortunately, it doesn't go that in depth. So we're kind of we're kind of stuck with what we thought.
Taco from Blackwood. Fernandes. Soboslai. Good interception from Kosalic. Approaching the very end of standard time here. This match has extra time written all over it, I think. Estahan proving more vital in the first half than I go is in the second. Turchin with a bit of a mistake there. Good recovery from Cassandro. Ramiro. Should have made Ramiro taller. Man is a midget. Hey, you never know. Jong Un last season was really good, and I think they were only like a meter 55 or something like that. But it is the end of 90 minutes now. Neither club was able to uh, find a winner in regular time, so this match is headed straight into extra time. This is the second match that Eshtahan have uh, pushed into extra time. Dragois, I think this is the first extra time match that they've had to deal with in this entire history, I think. But yeah, it's just going to show us the first half uh, highlights again. I think both, both, uh, both sides had really good options in both the first and the second half. Eshtahan more so in the first, Dragois more so in the second. Truching was just having a field day today. Very good stuff from him. A few laps in concentration for the uh, Eshtehan defense. Luckily, it didn't amount to too much. What a save that was. I don't think he even saved it with the hand. I think he chested it away. But yeah, it's most likely going to repeat now. Yep. All right, moving right along into extra time. There can only be one winner, I'm afraid. Truchin, what a goalkeeper. Yeah, I agree. He's definitely stepped up uh, for the goalkeeping spot. Good pass into space. Frank Castle's there. He's got a bit of more juice in him. He is subbed. Oh, it's a ball from Doi. Ramiro. That was a beautiful ball, though, uh, from Ramirez, I believe, to Frank Castle. Good interception from Pashalic. He's truly the key player er, in the midfield at the moment. Just to recap, these matches, or these matches, these extra time halves each go to 15 minutes in the little uh, timer on the top left. So right now we're approaching six minutes, we'll have nine minutes left. And that'll be the end of the first half of the extra time. Alabama Emmett, he decides to go for a miracle strike. Not a bad attempt, especially since they need to find a winner before they go to dreaded penalties. Doi. It's picked away by the defense. It's going to be truly a test of endurance now. I think everybody's leggy at this point. Mohamadi. Ooh, that could have been very nearly a goal. Sadegi almost got to it, but Truchi made sure he was in the right place at the right time.
Torres. A late tackle there. Alabama and it. Our whole front three got subbed off for a center mid and two washed wingers. Yeah, that's why it's important to have depth as well. Because especially when somebody gets subbed off either intentionally or or unintentionally like an example of an injury or something it's good to have that backup person there who's also reliable the first half of the extra time is shortly about to end Alabama Emmett, Sadegi, oh this could be good, it's going in, it's gone in. I was trash talking Sadegi earlier but he silenced me right up. Brilliant positioning from Sadegi. We'll take a look at it again on the replay as always. Beautiful pass. I think there was just an open uh, open pocket of space there. So how they get to slot it through. Who made that pass? I'm curious to know. Get in. Now the task has changed very, very quickly for both clubs. Very unfortunate for Drucin, I think. I think he deserved to, like like you said in chat, I think he deserved to have a clean sheet today. Dragoys really need to make something happen in these last few minutes, which is a monumentally difficult task. But anything is possible. Mohammadi. He's still going. It's still Mohammadi. Pashalic. Ooh, good tackle. It's Adams. It's still Adams. He might fancy a strike. Collected by Trucin. That could have been the nail in the coffin, I think, in this match. But time is running short. And here comes Fernandes. He's tripped up. It's a free kick. Now, this could be a vital moment here. Blackwood. Fancies a strike. Ooh, just over the bar. Oh, Blackwood knows how excellent of an opportunity that was. Oh, just grazed the top of the bar. We've yet to see a goal scored through a free kick. So I'm interested to see when that actually happens. CPU made Bot Fernandes captain. Yeah, again, if once the captain gets subbed off, it's just a random one. Muhammad he has a strike, good save from Trucin. Unfortunately, that's out of our control. I'm not sure exactly how the captain influences the in-game in particular. I think it's just like a more of like a cosmetic thing, but I'm not sure. 
Castle whips the ball in. Black always need to make something happen. It's now or never now. Blackwood. It's still Blackwood. Blackwood finds a man in Doi. Oh, that was a clinical block there. Here they might come into a counterattack. Sadegi. Oh, good tackle from Cassandro. Ref calls a foul. Mohammadi. It's still Mohammadi. He has a strike. Again, a great save from Truzzi. My word, what a keeper he is. This is surely the last play of the game now. Blackwood. I always need to do a last ditch effort here. It just wasn't meant to be, I'm afraid. That guys have been knocked out of the League Cup semi-finals. Eshtahan will have a place in the finals. An extra time winner from Sadegi sees the Iranian club to the finals. They might be fighting for their second title. But it's really heartbreaking for the Dragoys. Again, as I said before, it could have very easily been Dragoys to go through. That's the world of football sometimes. take a look at the highlights here I'm really curious to see who gave Sadegi the assist there though it was Alabama Emmett look at that clean stuff from Alabama Emmett and Sadegi allowing Eshtahan to continue the dream of of uh, potentially lifting the Premier League Cup this one also almost went in my word that one should have gone in as well. It just wasn't meant to be for that goes, I'm afraid. But there you have it. That concludes the first of two semifinal games. Eshtahan will be going through. Let's take a look at the stats here. Who was given the man of the match? Sadegi. Interesting. I honestly, I'm considering giving it to Trutsin. He just pulled out an unbelievable amount of 15 saves. Those are ridiculous metrics. This is Kabiri's stats. So that was an assist by Alabama. Record? I think so. That might be a record of most saves. Unfortunately, I don't have that kind of information, I'm afraid. But I do believe that's a record. Because I I haven't seen the shots go up by more than 10 in a match. Like it happens every once in a while. So to see it go all the way up to 17 for Eshtahan, and then so 15 saves is just crazy. I'll quickly go through these uh, stats here. Again, it could have gone either way. I think both teams performed admirably. It was just Eshtahan who had it a little bit more in them to ek out a win. But yeah, we can look at it again here. But 15 saves. He faced 17. 8 were on target. 
nine were missed. Yeah. Like, he was just on guard. It could have barely... Like, if it weren't for Truchin, this match might have ended in regular time, honestly. So, yeah. Big ups to... Murko Truchin. Alexanderson. Jafari Blackwood. The stats might be a bit more uh, inflated because there was extra time played. So there's more match to account for, I suppose. And then Ramiro. Ramiro with the 4.0. Why so bad? I don't think he was that bad at all. Yeah, I don't know. Take these... I know I've said it a million times, but take these ratings with a grain of sand. Seriously. Like, if you see 4.0 and your player performed 4.0, just discard it immediately. I think everybody performed pretty good. Definitely not standout performance by anyone. Uh, except maybe Truchin, I'd say. Again, I, I might be super subjective, so feel free to disagree with me. In fact, I invite you to disagree with me because then that means we can have contests about, you know, underrated, overrated players and so on. It, it allows for better conversations about things like that. But yeah, here we go. I think I'm going to give it to Tuchin. I think it's fair. But yeah, and it is a win for Eshtehan. Alright, moving right along. So let's see. I almost put 11 nil. That's not right. Got scored by Sabogi. And assisted by Alabama Emma. Man of the match? Murko Truzzi. Which? Truzzi. I I think that is a fair fair call. And that was warranted last performance as well, so I think this is a fair this is a fair pick. Alright. Moving right along to the next and final match. Who will face Estehan in the League Cup final? There's a weird smell where I'm at right now. There's like a, there's like a really weird, I don't know, there's like a weird smell. I'm like a little bit concerned. I don't know if something died here or something. All right. All right, I'll do the prediction shortly. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the match here. Leyenda facing the Royals. Now this, I think, could be good. If the Royals can secure a win here, I think it'll do wonders for them, uh, considering that their league campaign has been not the best, I'm afraid. So it'll really help them to uh, stay afloat and then find something to work towards. All right. Funny how both Leyenda and Oslo are at the bottom of the table, but one will go to the cup final. Yeah, exactly. And then don't forget that Norfolk ended up bottom of the table last season, and they won the whole thing, beating the Rovers, who were, I think at that point, fighting for a top three. So yeah, that's what I like about the League Cup. Because since it's a one-off match, you can, you can really go far. All right. There have been a few tactical changes. Chad Champion is playing up top now. Luciano Espolón playing in the midfield. This is his first start, I believe.
Last season, Leyenda did make it to the semifinals, the only team in this fixture that, that, have, that made it to the semifinals previously. Unfortunately, they did lose to eventual winners, Norfolk, on penalties. Royals last season lost in a 1-0 defeat to the Griffins in the quarterfinals. Hello! Hello, Hewasa Jaz Jasmine. Jasmine. <laughs> I said that so horribly. Hello! Welcome, welcome. So, a few changes as I mentioned. Uh, Espolón is starting in the midfield. Chat Champions playing up top for the Royals. And uh, Luki Delis is also making a, an appearance in place of Karimi. No changes for Leyenda. Luki Delis is a quality goalkeeper. Um, of course, since Karimi is more active, he takes that place. But we'll see how Luki Delis does here. And we're off. We'll have one winner at the conclusion of this match. Oh, that's a bad tackle on Tyon Dwayne. It's going to be a yellow card for Alessio. Very early yellow card. Ta-da, Sam. Sam has a pop. Good save from Luki Delis. They end that testing very early on. Oh, Rich. Yeah, man, I'm sorry. I, again, like, I genuinely wish there was a better customizable feature. Like, referees, like, leniency. Like, how strict or how lenient they are. I don't know, but it's unfortunate what we've got. Unfortunately, that's all my computer can handle, really. Like, I can't, I can't afford, like, football manager. <laughs> my computer would die if I ever tried playing football manager. Espolón. Fernando Rodriguez. An inviting ball in. I believe it took a touch from a Leyenda player, so it is a corner. Whipped in. It's headed wide. I believe that was chat champion. What happened there? What happened there? Seriously. There was no contact whatsoever. Anyways. Maybe a ghost was there. I don't know. Yeah, can, can someone look back on that? I don't think that there was even contact between two players and then the ref just thought there was a foul. That is the most bizarre thing I've seen. Alright, let's look at the predictions. Again, I think it's pretty even at the moment. Yeah, the odds are pretty much even again. It's good to see that we have conflict between who wins. It means that the cup finals are truly cup, uh, good cup ties. Oh, offside? Oh, that's a good point, actually. Was the defense really that far up front? I'm not sure. Again, I have to take another look at that. We're not, we're not, we don't have the luxury of, of VAR or, like, goal line technology. <laughs> so I'm just left guessing. A good pass to Fernandez. Royals have been probing early on, which is good. Espolón. It's collected by Harry Cheddar. Del Franco. He has a pop. That's well wide, I'm afraid. The defense really left a, left a big gap there. I think Jake Trotter was off his man. 
allowing Del Franco to burst his way forward. Luckily, it didn't amount to much. Amount to much. Are we doing the final? No, no, this is the semi-final. It's the other match. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah. If you're curious, Eshdahan beat Dragois in an, in, an, uh, in an extra time winner by Sadegi. So we'll find out who makes it to the final to face Eshdahan. I watched it again and after going for the head of the Linda pair, like ran for the ball, but while doing it ran to the Yeah, I have no idea. That's so weird. Good recovery from Fernando Rodriguez. The game is very finicky about fouls, which to be fair is completely honest. I mean, how do you how do you program something like that? Cantalupi wins it back. Like that's the big big thing that I've seen like a lot of games like sports games that sort of struggle with it's like just the whole encapsulating the the feeling of the game because it's not like real life where literally anything can happen like the player might stub his toe like before coming onto the field and suddenly he's not he's off his game or something like that or or i don't know there's like something affecting him in his personal life like with his family or or with his like girlfriend or, or boyfriend or whatever those aren't things we can't replicate in a game so there's like that unknown factor in in games it's just a probability match like how likely is this player to win this battle how likely is the player to sh uh, strike a goal from this position or something it's always very hard Posted a clip on the Clips channel. Sweet. Thanks a lot. Yeah, I'll take a look at that. <laughs> I want to make sure I keep track of all the strange moments that happen. Because I like looking back on those. Oh yeah, sorry if you hear my dog in the, bar in the background. Fernando Rodriguez. He's been very clinical and very reliable on the left... Uh, left wing. Sam was uh, checked there. And Saka looked like a trip there. I, the ref didn't see anything. This match is going very good. Very good to see. Yeah. I like it as well. Honestly, I feel like... I genuinely think that the league table isn't really a reliable marker of how a team plays. Because, again, we're pretty much all, all on the same level at the moment. But, yeah. These two, these two clubs are pretty much on the same level. So, yeah. They're pretty stacked up against each other which is good but unfortunately only one can go to the final I wish everybody could be winners but that's just not feasible or fair for that matter we have to pick a winner and here's Tyon Dwayne good save from uh, rookie daddies we change in the cup yeah maybe it's maybe it's like the league cup maybe it's like a league cup I don't know, Chris, but maybe Blessing. Like, whoever's bottom of the table ends up winning the thing. Maybe. I hope I didn't jinx the, I hope I didn't jinx the Royals' chances by saying that. But here's Chad Champion. Patrick Rodriguez. Good tackle from Cheda. It's still Rodriguez, though. Almost... Bilal. Commentator Chris. No. I have a bit of that, honestly. I don't know if you guys remember, but last season, whenever I would say something, the opposite would happen. So, like, I remember when I said, 
uh, in that match where Bonyashev scored in the last second of the match to give the win to the Royals, I said, wow, Bonyashev has been so bad up, up front. And then he went and scored in the last second too because when it went to kick off, the match ended. Free kick given. Plays it short to Patrick Rodriguez. Oh, it's always hard when you have that many men up front. And here's Chess. This could be bad. Chess. Ooh, wasn't enough. Well cut out. Fernando Rodriguez again. Good stuff from the, the left back. Fernando Rich. Alessio. All the way to chat champion, Antal. Chess. Lays it up to Tyon Duane. Ooh, it looks like Espolon was sh shoved away there by Tyon Duane. This ball on is going to be stretched off. It shouldn't be bad. He didn't look like he took a hard, a hard fall. Yep, he's good to go. I thought we were going to see the ambulance one. I was like, oh no, the curse that happened again. I should just stop commentating. But yeah, luckily that hasn't happened yet. Because it's not fun seeing that. Good tackle from Patrick Rodriguez. See, the Royals have good players. They really do. Lamau, and this is the first game I've been able to catch. Let's put on. Oh, hey! Oh, no! Nah, he's good to go, though. We saw the uh, arrow. He was, good. He's, he was fit to, to play again. So he's probably back on the pitch now. But yeah, good to see you, man. Hope, you, hope all is well with you, your family. A strike from distance. Luki Delis. Safe hands from Luki Delis. Luki Delis has been doing his job today. just laughing about it yeah it goes like that sometimes I'm afraid but it's still all square no goals scored again I think either team has it in them to see it through to the final thank you no problem man what's going on there look like chess wanted a hug <laughs> For Espolo, maybe he felt bad that Espolo had a bit of a knock there. But yeah, really good stuff from both teams. This one was a really clear-cut chance. Unfortunately, Del Franco couldn't direct it towards the goal. It was a poor strike, if I'm honest. Okay, it's repeating. Moving right along. Forty-five minutes to go. Potentially the very last forty-five minutes in this cup. Potentially. For either team. Bologna, there he is. He's poked it wide, Fernandez. This could be good here.
Clown Dwayne. Oh, clinical tackle by Jake Trotter. That's what you like to see. Not quite out of danger yet. And it is a free kick. Sam with the ball. That's a corner. Interesting. Sam whips it in. Chest with the header. That one was not controlled, I'm afraid. It's a sigh of relief for the Royals. Again, as I mentioned before, it's truly going to be an endurance test. More subs. Espolón is off. I think he had a good match today. He's off for Carlson. There he is. Aforementioned Carlson. Antal. Chat champion. Patrick Rodriguez. He goes for a strike. He's held by Martic. I think that's the first strike on target this match. Yeah, good game for him, I agree. And it's his first start too, so I, I think most of the other times he's had an appearance have been uh, off the bench, so good to see him get a start and just get his hands dirty. Okay, Delis. Oh, it's always tense when there's moments like this. That was a beautiful ball. Antal, beautiful passing from Royals here. Tripped up. I do think that was a foul, but the ref didn't see anything. How how can we be a manager here? Uh, can you elaborate? Uh, I'm curious what you mean by that. Oh, that's a nasty, nasty tackle on Alessio Simeone. I think it's going to be yellow card for uh, Cantalupi. It is. It's a shame. We'll take another look at it to see just how it transpired. I think I think that's fair, maybe. I don't know. It's really hard to judge calls like that on the spot, if I'm honest. I've see, I've been seeing a lot of videos of uh, referees doing like GoPros, and it's really tense. I don't think I would last even a minute on the pitch. Oh, a lunging tackle, another word. This time with Patrick Rodriguez. And I think it's going to be yellow card. We're going to go in super slow-mo. Oh, it's just a warning. Patrick Rodriguez gets off, I think, very generously there. And Sam stands over the ball. He has a pop. That one's well wide. Another sub here. Del Franco's off for Lenny Lyons. Refs have a hundred stamina. Yeah, honestly, seriously. Especially linesmen. Like, if you think about the linesmen, they have to run back and forth all the time. And then keep their concentration and then keep fixated on the match so they can make the call. It's really difficult, honestly. Just had the ball there. Unfortunately, it's going nowhere near the goal. It hit the poor hot dog vendor trying to make his way... <laughs> Make his way to his own seat. He got punished just trying to help the people of the stadium. Good tackle from Cantalupi. He is booked though, so he'll need to be a bit more careful. Uh, how, uh, oh, how can we manage a team? Uh, currently, all clubs have managers. I think the only reason that we might look for more managers is in the case of an expansion. And this could be good here, which I have thought about. Again, it's just like, a, one, I don't think the demand is quite there yet. I think 
all clubs can afford um, to have more players, but yeah, again, it's just a time thing. If I had time, I would do so much more. Again, I mentioned that before, but whoa, lots of subs there. Uh, Chess is off, Chet is off, Rodriguez and Champion are off. It's going to be a battle of the subs now. I really like this, actually. Because we don't really get that much sub action. It's going to be a yellow card. I didn't catch for who. Fernandez this time. I think that was fair. Poor Alessio has been getting beat up at the moment. Oh my gosh, this ref is going crazy right now. Another yellow card for Antal. Maybe he spotted that things that tempers have started flaring, so maybe he's trying to take control of the situation. Oh, he's whipped him with pace. This is good. Good stuff from Bilal. He always gets really involved on the wings there. Pino CM. Is he in center mid right now? Let's see. He's really tall, so you can't miss him. He is. Hey, that's him, I think. Yeah. I have no idea, man. I genuinely don't have an idea why the why the game decides to just sub them in like that. But it's McCory. See, McCory's playing up top, but he's a center mid. I I think it has to do with attributes. Because technically it's like all 50s for some of the rookies. And it's all around that level, so it's not like that big of a difference. Cantalupi. Good block there. I think that was Carlson. Royals have been having a hard time getting past the defense. minutes 14 minutes now left to go I think this one might also go into extra time but that could be one of the moments where I jinx it again here's win it's with Dimitra now oh this is good dribbling Sam, Samuel Dimitra, Ooh, blocked away. It's gone out. Luki Dedis encouraging his team. That's what you want to see. It's out for a corner. And Dimitra whips it in. Fernandez looks to be on the end of it. Good clearance. Lupi has been winning those battles. Oliveira. The tackle from Pino in his unconventional center mid position. That's a good ball. Oh, it's going to be a foot race. Martich is uh, going to get to it first. The decent ball. I think it fell just a bit out of reach for Antal. Oh, good recovery. Alessio. And I have to be careful here. They weren't careful enough. It's a strike goal. What a save. 
What a save by Martic, my word. He got a fingertip to it and he's tipped it away. Unless you whips it in. Oh, a header. It's, that one's gone wide. That was a brilliant save by Martic. What a save. That was a fingertip save. He really had to reach for that one and he got a hand to it somehow. Really, really outstanding stuff from Ilya Martic. Cantalupi. Hasaka Mikori. Pino to Alessio. That oh, was not a good touch, I'm afraid. Levi, Samuel Dimitras pressing that one. Gosh, I always get a heart attack. I'm playing a lot better than last match. Yeah, I absolutely agree. He's really been getting stuck in, Cantalupi. Good stuff. Alessio win. Bilal. Bilal might provide a bit of magic here. He's still got the ball. Bilal. Win. Oh, not quite. This could be it right here. Bilal. Alessio. Might fancy a strike. Surely. Surely now. Oh, cleared away. That was a golden opportunity there, but a brilliant intervention from the defender. Samuel Dimitra. This will be the last chance of the standard time, I believe. It's poked away by Jake Trotter. It's a corner. Collected by Luke Davis. Always on guard for those. I think that'll do it. It could not be settled in standard time as we saw in the last match. We'll have to go to extra time once again. Excuse me, I thought I had to sneeze there, so I was backing away from the mic because I didn't want to sneeze and blow out everybody's eardrums. But it's okay, it was just a false alarm. Oh boy, this is a really tense match. Either team could have could have won it in standard time, I believe. The one fingertip save from Martic. Couple of good saves from Luki Delis. This was it here. What a save. Oh, I wish we got a close-up of that one. But yeah, this is the Del Franco shot that goes well wide. Here it is. This is certainly make or break now. And look at that. Royals really came, came through in the second half. Plenty of more strikes on target. So, yep. We're in overtime now. For those of you who may or may not know, I think I explained it last time, but just to recapitulate extra time is comprised of two 15 minute halves according to the timer so it'll go to 15 and then restart for the second half and if it's all square then then we go to the dreaded penalties which are over in a second mccory mccory right as i was speaking mccory sends it in Sky McCory, who's wearing the armband now, he's really thoroughly taking command. What a strike from McCory. I think Luki Delis maybe should have done a bit better. Good on you, McCory. Lendar leading 1-0. There's still a little bit of game left now. 
Excuse me, there's still a little bit of game left now. But the clock is ticking. Carlson. It's going to be definitely defending game now for Leyenda at all costs. Carlson, Rodriguez, tackled, it is a free kick. It's going to be yellow card for Serra this time. This could be a golden chance here. Alessio. Oh, and thanks for joining my PES 6 team. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm really excited to see how good old Jordan Keeney does. <laughs> I don't know, Jordan Keeney sounds like the most American name ever. Like, he sounds like he was just varsity for high school. Fernandez. Leyenda. Oh, my goodness, what a strike. Unstoppable by Fernandez. Pick that one out, my word. Fernandez is delighted with that one. Wow. Loki Delis was not going to get to that one, I'm afraid. Get in, Fernandez. We'll take a look at it here. Sweetly struck. Beautiful from Fernandez. The task has gotten incredibly dire for the Royals now. Nothing is impossible, but it is. The chances of making the finals are very slim at the moment, unfortunately. Very, very impressive from Fernandez, though. Hats off to him. Okay, uh oh, looked like someone was on the ground there. Yeah, it's extra time. It's, it's weird, I know. The timer, like, restarts it from zero. And that doesn't add it to 99. Oh, Antara is going to have to be subbed off. I, I don't know if they have any subs left. It should be fine, though. Yep. See, he's fine. It's probably the cramps that are setting in. There he is, he just moved on. There he is. <laughs> he moved on the pitch to free up some space. McCory. McCory. Oh, well done by Levi. Yeah, honestly, I, I, I don't know either for the Royals. I, I really don't know, guys. I'm really sorry. Because obviously I don't want clubs to do poorly. I want like to make everybody like into a superstar team. But I, I'm really trying to think. I think I think it has to do with just um. My guess from before was like a uh, a striker or something like that, or like a midfielder. Because from the looks of it, I think you guys were playing like a four three three. There's a strike from McCory. This time it's saved by Luki Delis. Because I think for active strikers, you currently just have uh, Joaquim Antal, I think. Everyone else isn't as active as it could be. Win! Oh, it's not over yet. Wait, is this the end of the second half? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. But Win pulls one back. Win has pulled one back. He races back to the center line. No, it's the first half? Oh, boys. 
What a we're in for a real treat now. The Royals could definitely bring this back. It's all about a, a mental battle now. Wind providing a glimmer of hope. It's not over yet. Poked away by Pino. That'll do it for the first half. Royals really need to come with everything they've got. They really need to lay their lives on the line for this second half. It's now or never, truly. Three goals in 15 minutes. Oh yeah, it is the second half because it didn't restart to zero. Okay, the Royals have 15 minutes to make a miracle happen. All I need is one. Leander needs to hang on for dear life. McCory. Challenged by Trotter. Fernando Rodriguez. Alessio. Bilal. Come on, Royals. Trotter. That was deflection. I think it'll be a Royals throw. Yes, it is. Bilal taking it. Win. Alessio. Pino. Alessio. It's still Alessio. He's going to have a strike. Oh, we had to keep a wrong footed there. It is going to be a corner. Came off of Lenny Lyons. Alessio to take it. Alessio whips the ball in. Oh, they're pressured. Oh, they've won it back. Oh, it's a foul. Wow, I'm truly on the edge of my seat here for the Royals. Nine minutes. Anything can happen. Carlson. Antal. Pino. Everybody's so slow. <laughs> Bregner's being pressured. Oh, won it back. Pino has a strike. Oh, it's wide. Oh, boy. That was a mistake from the defense. The Royals are really pressing for this one. Eight minutes to go. Come on, says Alessio. McCory. Sam Dimitra. Trotter's fighting for that one. Oliviera. Tyon Dwayne. A good tackle from Carlson. They can't afford Lane that and make any progress. And here's Antal. Good tackle from Lenny. Pino. Alessio. Carlson. Oh, bad pass. Kononovic. Carlson. He tries to lay it off to Antal. Antal with the ball. Antal to Rodriguez. Rodriguez is always good at sending the crosses in. He does. Pino's on the end of it. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. The Royals have tied it up. Unbelievable seeds here. The Royals are going crazy. Whoops. My God, that's why I love the league. Pino surging forward. Fernando Rodriguez whipped it in and Pino smashes it home. Under the bar. A fairy tale story right here for the Royals. Wow. Four minutes to go. Fernandez. Regner. Good tackle from Pino. Oh, it is a foul. Tempers are flaring. 
that's to be expected. This is a hotly contested match. Demitra. No one got to that one. Carlson. You know they could they could make something happen here. Fernando Rodriguez. He whips it in. Clear the way. Just a few seconds left here. We, well, unbelievably, this match might go to penalties. Oliveira. Cantalupi. Fernandez. It's whipped in. Regner. Oh my goodness, this match is going to penalties. Oh my goodness, from 2 0 down in extra time. When. Uh, really brought some faith back to the Royal Squad and Pino with a surging forward, bursting forward in the midfield and headed it in. But oh boy, oh boy, we're off to the penalties now. I Again, I will say that unfortunately they aren't, I can't set them here because it is an exhibition match. All right, are you guys ready? <laughs> I'm not ready, but we're gonna find the winner very shortly. These penalties will go by very quickly. I'll try to keep up with the action as best as I can. I'll take a quick water break because I think my throat nearly gave out when Pino scored there. One second. Okay, I'm so nervous. I can't even imagine the players. All right, all right. Just we gotta get it over with, like a pen, like a like a penalty, like a band aid. McCory up to up first here. McCory, Luki Delis. Oh, he's hit the bar. He's hit the bar. Royals could go with the advantage here. Win. Win with the strike. Oh, it's also hit the bar. It's all back to normal now. Sam Demitra. Demitra. It's saved by Luki Delis. Brilliant save from Luki Delis. Antal. He's going to have a strike. It's also saved. Oh my god. It's a save by Martic. Alright, Fernandez. Fernandez has a strike right down the middle. Alessio Simeone. He dinks it. Oh, it's hit the post. It's hit the post. Regner now. Regner. Easy strike into the left. Royals need to convert this one. Carlson. Carlson. Right down the middle. They end that score this next one. They're through to the finals. And they will face Eshtahan. Tie on Dwayne. Dwayne smacks it. And it's in the middle. Lander through to the finals. Absolutely heartbroken for the Royals, if I'm honest. Utter heartbreak for the Royals. Look at that. It's absolutely dejected. But Lander come out winners. Wow. Oh, boy. I thoroughly feel for, for uh, Royals. That is heartbreaking. Utterly heartbreaking. But thoroughly commendable. To go down 2-0 in extra time. We'll see here. This was McCory's goal. Leenda were winning it at 1-0 at there. Fernandez then. 2-0 in extra time. It looked like Leenda were just going to run away with it. And after that strike, I really thought they had it in the bag. But Royals kept pushing for it. And then win in the last minute of the first half of extra time. Brought some hope back into the into the Royal squad. And I really thought that they could bring it back. And 
There it is. Fernando Rodriguez's cross to Pino, who was surging forward. Brought the game level from 2-0. 2 nil down to 2. That is that is thoroughly celebratory. They might have lost the match in the end, but that I could, will forever tip my hat to that. Anybody else in extra time would have thoroughly given up, I think. Especially in extra time. Because you're leggy, you're tired. And being 2-0 down, it's an impossible task. But then Wynn scored it in the first half of extra time at the very end. And then Pino connecting with it four minutes before the game was scheduled to end. <laughs> and in the end, penalties are just a lottery. And it's Leyenda who came out on top. But I'm thoroughly heartbroken for the Royals. They definitely deserve much better after that. But that definitely, definitely commendable performance from them. Man, they match Harry Chetta, but I'll need to I'll need to write down these stats. What a match we had! I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope I hope the Royals players enjoyed that, even though they did lose in a very heartbreaking fashion. Hang on to that. That that is something that you sh won't forget. That you shouldn't forget. Very, very inspiring. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna write down the uh, stats. I would have cried actually if the Royals won that. I genuinely would have. That is something that for the ages, I think. And then in the hundred and my god, hundred and fifty. Oh by the way. Was there an assist on that? I don't know. Very quickly check. Let's see. So I know that this one resulted in an assist. Rodriguez win. No, no assist on the play. But yeah, if you're a Royals fan in the chat, keep your head high. That is surely something not to feel sad about. Wait, wait a second. Yeah, don't. It's, I would definitely be, obviously it stings, but I mean, that is just very inspiring. That is one thing I'm gonna remember, I think. For the rest of this league, that is one thing that I'm gonna remember, is this performance by the Royals. And the Rodriguez as well. They really deserve better. Let's see. Pino was so good, if I'm honest. This one's this comment is very true. Although unable to lead his team to victory, he was very uh he still showed prowess or whatever. Like that. Stats. Yep, yep, yep. Cantalupi. Good passing from Cantalupi. Whoa, 200 meters. McCory real I think McCory definitely deserves to be man of the match contention as well. 
I saw him. He was really good up top. There he is. McCory. I think he was subbed on and then he just made a huge impact. Kononovic, perfect passing. Bilal, good as always on the wing. Very reliable. Pinpoint left cross. Absolutely. Fernando Rodriguez could not have crossed that any better, if I'm honest. And Pino with the reaction to be on the end of that. So good. Seven interceptions, yeah. And he scored. I think I'll give it to Pino. Look at that. Win says, thank the coach for putting him in the game in the best possible way. With a goal. Anya, son, win. But yeah, I think I'll give it to Pino. But yeah, that does it for me today. Eshtahan will face FC Leyenda. Did I pay off? Yes, I did. Uh, uh, Eshtahan will face FC Leyenda in the final. What a story it was for the Royals. They really could have had a fairy tale ending should they have won the penalty kicks. But again, it's just a lottery when it comes to those. So, but yeah, that's all for today. I'll be back tomorrow with the second half of the season. Everybody's in a really good position now for the for the league. So we'll see how the rest of the season turns out um, But yeah, uh, take it easy everyone uh, Hope you guys have a great to night rest of your day, whatever you are you guys are awesome you guys matter uh, And yeah, I'll see you guys later